Hi, in this video, we will learn about a very powerful feature within TradeTron where you can build your own strategies, backtest them, paper trade them, and live trade them. All of this with zero, zero keywords or without any understanding of the condition builder, position builder, or the advanced strategy builder of TradeTron. Yes, if you have guessed it right, we are going to talk about the option wizard, how you can use the option wizard to its fullest and then build and deploy strategies using the option wizard. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So like you can see, I am basically on the dashboard of TradeTron and we'll now navigate to the option wizard. So I go to create and select option wizard. Now once on the option wizard, I basically have the option to either select like a pre-built template uh, that I want like a straddle or a strangle or a butterfly or iron fly and so on or I can select any of my own existing strategies that I have already created. Um, in your, I will now select a fresh strategy using the create my own strategy button. Now in this strategy, I will first have to give it a name. Now this name could be anything. So let's say I would name it as option wizard, no surprises out there. And I will select my underlying. Now in my underlying, I basically select one instrument. Mostly these are just indexes out here. So in these indexes, I basically select which index do I want to trade in and the whole strategy that you see out here will basically be defined based on that particular index that I select. So I'll keep it simple and select Nifty out here. Now in your, after that, I will select the capital. Now the capital out here is more like an indicative number. It is the number that I think would be required as the capital and has nothing to do with the margin requirement. So for example, I select my capital as 1.5 lakh out here. Now with that, I select if the strategy is an intraday strategy or a positional strategy. And then I basically define my positions out here. So in your, in the option wizard, I am first defining the positions that I want to trade. And based on that, I'm then defining what are my entry and exit settings later. So let's assume we are going at a simple short straddle based strategy. So I will select my segment as my call out here. And I will select that I want to sell this call, right? So I select sell and I select my strike out here. Now, when I select a strike out here, I basically get the option to select multiple different things within my strike. So a simple strike selection could basically be an ATM spot or a futures. So I want my ATM to be selected based on the spot. So let's assume if Nifty is at 23,500 at the moment. So if the spot is at 23,500, the ATM strike will basically be 23,500. And based on that, it will basically select 23,500 as the strike out here. Or let's say if the futures is at 23,600, it will capture 23,600 as the futures based strike out here. Now, uh, with that, there are some other options. The other options broadly are of two types. I can either select the premium, which premium do I want to uh, trade my strategy uh, closest uh, to, and I can select my delta. So what delta am I looking at in terms of selecting my strike? So let's assume I want to select a premium that is closest to something like, let's say 200 rupees. So in that case, I will select my premium nearest and I will select 200 rupees as my value. So now it will go to the nifty option chain and in this nifty option chain, it will find out the strike which is closest to 200 rupees. So assume if there is a strike which is at, let's say 205 rupees and the other strike is, let's say at 180 rupees, this premium nearest will basically select the strike which is of 205 rupees and it will give that particular strike price as a position out here. With that, I can define my expiry. So I want my expiry to be on current week uh, options and I select the lots. How many lots do I want to trade? Like you can see out here, in this there are just 10 lots at max that you can add, uh, but there is a way by which you can multiply it uh, at, at a higher lot when you are actually deploying it. So I will select one lot as my instrument and I can add it now. When I add my instrument, I will now see that I can now define certain other things. So for this specific instrument that I have, for the 200 rupee strike price call instrument that I have, uh, I am now able to define my, uh, my criteria of my target. So this target criteria could basically be in two, two ways. So assume that my instrument got, took a trade at 200 rupees, right? Now, since it is a short trade, I benefit when the price goes down, right? So if I select, let's say a target at 10%, in this case, what will happen is that after the entry at 200, when a 10% movement happens, which means that on 200, 10% is 20, 20 points. So when there is 20 points in my favor, I will basically exit the trade. So this trade will exit at a 10% target. Similarly, let's say if I don't want to choose a 10% target and I want to choose a 10 point target, I can just select points out here and the same goes for stop loss. So let's say if I want a stop loss, which is at 
25% above the uh, above the entry price then i will basically select my stop loss out here for the same with that i can also choose to have a trailing stop loss now the trailing stop losses that i have can be defined out here now the trailing stop loss are broadly of two ways one trailing stop loss could basically be based on the entry of uh, entry percentage or entry points or the second trailing stop loss could basically be a, st a trailing stop loss which starts from the stop loss value right now let's understand the uh, the the stop loss value uh, part first so let's assume i took my entry at at uh, 200 rupees and my stop loss will basically be 20 points right so if i have a 20 point stop loss right uh, or a, if i have a 20 point stop loss i will define my 20 point stop loss out here so when i have my 20 point stop loss out here uh, when the price goes above let's say 220 rupees in 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 uh, uh, in in my stop loss it will basically exit from the trade and whenever there is a movement of 1 rupee in my favor the stop loss will adjust down 1 rupee so let's say instead of from 200 the price goes to let's say 199 in that case my stop loss from 220 will basically go down by 1 rupee to 219 rupees and so on so this is broadly how my uh, how my uh, how my uh, uh, how my stop loss will work the same thing happens for my entry based stop loss so in my entry based stop loss i can define a minimum lock profit now this minimum lock profit will basically help me capture at least some profit in case the uh, the strategy goes against me so this 20 that i select out here is basically the activate point so when when i have 20 points in my favor at that point the stop loss will get activated when the stop loss gets activated it will capture let's say a minimum of 5 points and when there are uh, and after that after this for every one point in my favor the stop loss will basically get in, in, incremented for one one point as per the market moves so that is broadly how my target stop loss and trailing stop losses work um once i have defined this i can basically uh, choose to have this thing as let's say an atm strike to keep it simple and i can have let's say an other uh, another put strike which is again an atm based strike because i want to make a, a, a short straddle now after i have added my two instruments as my short straddle we need to remember that whenever we add something out here as my target stop loss or trailing stop loss this is basically being defined on that specific leg so if my call entered at let's say 150 rupees uh, in that case all my target stop loss and trailing stop loss will happen only for that specific call and not for the entire strategy altogether right with that understood let's understand the entry settings now no surprises here the entry settings are very very straightforward you can basically just select from the drop down what time you want your entry at so uh, to, to keep it uh, as per the stereotype we will select the 920 straddle out here right so when we select the 920 straddle the whenever the time is let's say 920 the uh, these two option instruments will basically trigger my trigger my trade and based on this it will basically take my uh, take my uh, take my trade accordingly now i can also define on which days do i want my entry to happen so out here i'm basically defining my entry to be based on certain days now if let's say i want to eliminate a friday let's say i don't trade on fridays i can basically skip out friday and i can keep friday out of this uh, out of this uh, strategy now with that i can also define certain exit settings now these exit settings will basically be the settings uh, based on which my entire strategy will exit so these exit settings are basically on an entire strategy level so let's say if i have multiple legs i have let's say leg 1 2 3 4 5 6 and on all of these legs i have some i want to have let's say a target so when i get let's say a total of 1000 rupees in this strategy in this short straddle strategy i basically want to exit in that case i will basically select my uh, select my mtm profit target as 1000 rupees similarly i'll have my stop loss so i can select a stop loss in terms of percentage now this percentage is basically out of this 1.5 lakh that i have defined out here so when i want let's say 2% stop loss on my uh, on my 1.5 lakh rupee uh, uh, 5 lakh rupee uh, uh, instrument uh, strategy i will define my stop loss as 2% and i can also have a trailing stop loss this trailing stop loss works similar to what uh, what we we understood in the trailing stop loss of that instrument but the only difference is that this trailing stop loss is basically on a strategy level so on an overall strategy level this trailing stop loss will basically help us understand uh, uh, understand and trigger a strategy level target so at let's say 3000 rupee uh, profit i want to um, 
I want to activate my trailing stop loss and after that I want to lock at least 1000 rupees of profit and with every one point movement I want to increase my trailing stop loss by one point. So I can basically define these values out here and uh, and therefore I can have basically like a trailing stop loss in my strategy. Now after that I can also define my exit times. So exit will basically define at what time my exit is happening. So I can trigger my exit at let's say 3 o'clock and uh, based on that it will trigger my exit. Now again when I have positional strategies I can define my exit on expiry. So when the expiry happens, I want to basically exit from my positions or I can define, let's say, exit on entry after X days. So let's say if I have a BTSD strategy where I'm taking an entry today and tomorrow I want to trigger an exit. So I can define my entry on exit, exit on entry after X days as let's say one day. So if it takes an entry today, then tomorrow will basically be the uh, exit day for that particular strategy and so on. So that way I can define whatever type of strategy I want. Now with that, this, uh, this strategy builder also gives me like a payoff graph. So I can now understand that my blue line is basically out here. And based on the blue line, I can simulate based on the overall expiry dates, what kind of profit or loss would basically be generated on different dates. So for example, if I'm taking the strategy, if this is an intraday based strategy, this is how my, this is how my uh, profit or MTM loss curve would look like. And based on this, I can understand that let's say when the market moves by so many points in so many directions, I can uh, I can have this kind of profit or loss. Similarly, if I hold this strategy to expiry, let's say if it is an expiry day and I'm looking at this strategy, then I can understand that on this particular point, um, at let's say if the if the market expires at 23,300 or so, I would basically make a profit of around 19,500 and so on. So this is broadly what we offer in the option wizard and once we create our strategy on the option wizard that same strategy will basically be visible in the my strategy section out here so you can see that the option wizard strategy is now visible now with this strategy i can either deploy the strategy so i can run the strategy on paper trading or i can run the strategy on uh, on a back test so i can execute this strategy on a back test and see historically what kind of profit or loss or or or, um, or or performance did that strategy make historically and based on that uh, trigger my trigger uh, or modify or optimize my strategy and so on and i hope this concept video on the option wizard helped if you want more such videos where we cover one feature of the platform in depth uh, in detail do let us know in the comment section and we will cover all the features of the tradetron platform gradually in one one video at a at a time so thank you for watching. Goodbye. Have a nice day.